right. Need to get a little heat in the tires. Stopped for about an hour and a half at TWO. Had a turkey club. And then ran into several friends. Ran into Blair. Haven't seen him in ages. He went riding the other way. Ran into Ron and Tom. They also went the other way. And I got Ricky and Dean up ahead. Dean, you'll know, is Ant-Man Moto. Out on the mighty Aprilia. Ricky's riding a CBR 1000 RR. Also ran into Cal, who bought my uh, Street Triple RS 765 from me. Yeah, pretty good. Ran into a bunch of people. Now we're going to head back through Wolf Pen Gap. Cut over to Richard Russell Parkway. Head on home and get some pool time. Doing up there. So this should be an enjoyable little ride as soon as we get past that car. Triumph Rocket. Love it. I like the Rocket a lot. I thought about maybe someday getting one of those, but honestly, I'd probably get a Diavel. The Rocket's got insane torque and, and all that stuff. But because it's so much heavier, the uh, the Diavel's actually the quicker bike and better handling, so. All right, someone pulling off. Thanks, mister. So, it's a good twisty little road for Big Bertha here. turns. We get a little bit of a straightaway and there's not much that can hang with it. Squirrel. Flat squirrel. Bunch of gravel. Lovely. Should have known that. It was there yesterday. More gravel. And today hopefully should be dry. We'll see. Ooh, really slow car. starting to drop. Pretty soon the leaves will be changing. At least the temperature's going down, but then there's going to be a lot of leafers up here. Dean's making a 
this getaway. me on the straightaway but he'll make mince meat of me up here he can come off the turns almost as hard he can brake later he's got better suspension he's 100 pounds lighter it's just an amazing amazing bike and he's also a really good rider Obviously, it's not really in its element. Ugh. Had to scrub off too much speed, and then I got a little target fixation on that dirt on the side. bike for a Grom and a set of super sticky tires just coast downhill you can wail on it this is a part of the road where you don't want to get things wrong there'll be wet patches I keep seeing some gravel and shit in the road but there's no runoff you know some places have a guardrail hopefully that'll stop you but if it does it'll probably do so by breaking half the bones in your body. And if there's no guardrail, then it's a hundred foot drop right over there. So I see Richie Ricky's reeling me in. Too much talking, not enough riding here. and use a little engine braking. Oh, my least favorite turn. Talked about that yesterday. I don't mind it going the other way. But it just tightens up. There's always gravel. You see fucking oil and shit on the ground. You're like, if you go wrong, you're going right off into that gully. <laughs> me pass because I wouldn't have passed you if you didn't. 
think there's a stretch on Richard Russell on the uphill side if I get no traffic in front of me. I think I can pull away from him there. That's probably about it. Because there's a couple good sweepy turns through the woods that I know real well. And I'll usually, you know, really hammer it. But then on the other side of the mountain, he's faster going downhill, so. Overall, if we had to race from one end to the other, he'd probably beat me. Ah, yeah. That's a very twisty little road. shut down and we'll pick this back up when we get to the other side between following a truck and cyclists everywhere not gonna be a lot of fun here so all right there we go always have to look in the mirror to get my damn uh, camera working i can't hear the beep when it's mounted down here i can see whether it's recording or not Right, so we are now on Richard Russell. We got Dean right on my butt because I know he's going to try to keep up with me. See if I have anything to say about that. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. We got to get through this section because typically when there's a cop, we usually pass them here. So we're just going to stroll on through. Do, 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 do. When you get up on Richard Russell, there's not a lot of places for them to hide, and they typically don't. If they're going to hide on the side of the road and pick people off, they're usually around in this area. But the danger is always you're going down Richard Russell and GSP rolls by you. In that case, you're boned. So I may wick it up for a little bit and then not press my luck. Pull over. You see a bunch of spike bikes coming up your tailpipe. Nope. And of course, they're fucking Florida. An illegal pass, but it was a clean pass.
on. There, I'm having to concentrate a little bit and give the uh, give you the sound of the engine a wee bit, rather than me just yapping. Ooh, cooled off nice though. Yeah, throwing this thing to the turns, man, you start to work up a sweat. Let's wave to Dean. I don't know where Ricky is. We lost Ricky. Oh, there he is. Ricky's coming in hot. Ish. I don't know if Dean's rear camera's on. I'll just give him a little wave. Whoop, dead squirrel. All right, I think you guys are listening to me talk enough this week. It's the same road you see me on a bunch of times, so... Enjoy your weekend. Be safe. Go check out my vlog from uh, earlier with uh, Saturday or Sunday morning ride with Dave. A little political and ride all in one. Anyway, everybody, take care.